the leader in talk radio on the Internet, right here on K98talk.com. Is debt beating you down? You need discipline. You need the Debt Ninja. If you've been caught in a financial trap and need to be set free, then you need the Debt Ninja. Want to stop those harassing collection calls? Start saving thousands in interest and fees and get out of debt fast? Then you need to call the Debt Ninja. The Debt Ninja will find the best companies across the country that will help you consolidate all your bills into one easy payment. Reduce your payments by 30 to 50% and get you out of debt fast. If you have unsecured debt of $10,000 or more, such as credit cards, loans, or medical bills, call the Debt Ninja for a free 15-minute consultation. Call 800-826-1246. 800-826-1246. That's 800-826-1246. Call today. The Debt Ninja. This is Slickery Trigger for Rebel Road Tactical. With proper care and feeding, your pistol will be ready when you need it. There to save your life. Shouldn't your gear be that good? Whether you need a holster for comfortable, everyday carry, or a tough-as-nails holster for your next training course, Rebel Road Tactical has what you need. Check us out on the web at rebelroadtactical.com. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 a pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 1-800-516-7602 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 1-800-516-7602 to take your call right now. Call 1-800-516-7602. That's 1-800-516-7602. Again, 1-800-516-7602. In these uncertain economic times, you've got to do whatever you can to save money. One of our biggest expenses can be our cars, especially when unexpected repair bills hit. Not anymore. If you own a vehicle with less than 130,000 miles, is less than 12 years old, has a warranty about to expire, or even no warranty at all, you could stop paying for car repairs. Roadside assistance, towing, and rental coverage are all included. Don't wait for the next repair. Make one free call right now to see if you qualify. If your vehicle vehicle is less than 12 years old, has less than 130,000 miles, even if it's out of warranty, paying for car repairs can become a thing of the past. Call us right now and get your car protected before your next repair bill hits. Get protection and no more repair bills. Call 800-696-1030. Again, 800-696-1030. That's 800-696-1030. 800-696-1030. All right, folks, this is Rick Robinson with you. I want to tell you about some friends of mine from a company called Security Enforcement Specialists. When I ran my security agency for 12 years, I worked with one of these partners on a daily basis. He's been involved in this agency now, and with his other partner, they do have over 30 years of experience in the private security industry. If you own a business and you need someone to keep you or your customers or residents safe, then I highly recommend contacting Security Enforcement Specialists today. Give them a call at 405-703-1796. Again, that's 405-703-1796. Again, tell them Rick from K98 Talk sent you. Like I said, if you need the help, they are here for you. So make sure that you uh, go look them up, check them out, and see what they can do. The wrong way. Welcome to the place. 
Individuals and businesses with tax problems, listen carefully. Do you feel like you're losing control over your finances? If you owe over $10,000 in back taxes or have unfiled tax returns, we can help you take back control. The IRS is the largest and most aggressive collection agency in the world, and they can seize your bank account, garnish your paycheck, close your business, and file criminal charges. Take control of your tax problems now by calling the experts at Tax Mediation Services and take advantage of the Fresh Start program and new laws that may allow us to negotiate a settlement for the lowest amount possible. Our team of tax attorneys and enrolled agents can stop collections and get you protected so you can take control of your financial future. Tax Mediation Services is accredited by the Better Business Bureau. Call now for a free case review and a price protection guaranteed quote. Call Tax Mediation Services now at 800-610-9050. That's 800-610-9050. 800-610-9050. The Internet will never be the same. You're listening to K98talk.com. Defending Liberty one hour at a time and broadcasting from the RWB Network Studios in New York, this is the Rhino Report. Always right. Uh, Let's get it. We will not tire, we will not falter, and we will not fail. Son, your ego is writing checks your body can't cash. She got chunked. You are very rude. We are going to make America great again. And now, here's your host, the Rhino. The new sheriff in town. Hey, hello, hello, hello. I am the Rhino, and this is my report today, Thursday, June 30th, 2016, and we're coming to you from the RWB Network Studios in our nation's 11th state. I'll let you look that one up. If I tell you everything, you'll never learn. And, of course, we're live on CRN Digital Talk Radio. Hey, if you're walking around the Upper East Side in Manhattan, if you ever have the opportunity, well, don't, first of all. But if you are, you better watch your back, and you better watch your back quite literally. Uh, There was a woman walking around 74th Street and 1st Avenue, which is the Upper East Side, traditionally a nice part of the city. It's where Mayor Bloomberg lives and all sorts of celebrities. Well, a man walks up behind her, grabs her while she's on her cell phone, all right? He takes a bag of feces and stuffs it down her pants. Swear to God, this is not a lie. This is all over the news today here in uh, the New York metro area. Crazy. Crazy crazy. I'm not sure if this violates the quality of life laws that were all decriminalized or whatever. Uh, I guess you can do this now because you can poop in the street now. So I guess what's wrong with with this? Um, They're describing the man as uh, 40 years old, about six feet tall and 200 pounds. So they described about 80 percent of the population in Manhattan. Uh, They don't tell you if he's black, white, Hispanic, purple, doesn't matter. They don't tell you. They don't tell you that. So I guess just be aware if you're walking around the Upper East Side and uh, maybe tighten your belt a little bit. All right, let's get to today's headlines. First, the U.S. Navy has released their report regarding the capture of 10 sailors by Iran last January. And guess who they blame? One hint, not Iran. Also, last week we mentioned one Internet radio station that censors its hosts. Now... The FEC is following suit by attempting to censor right-leaning news outlets. And is your name on an ISIS kill list? Well, if it is, you probably won't know about it. We have all that, plus it's Thursday, and that means we're going poll crazy. However, after seeing them, Hillary might just go, well, plain crazy. And Disney declares war on alligators and crocodiles, all that. Plus, we'll get into the rhino mailbag, which has been a rarity lately, if we have time. But first, let's kick the show off the same way we always do. The salute to our country with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, guys, as always, check out rhinoreport.com. Lots of... Lots of new articles there, some new Rhino Ranch, trying to keep it up to date as things are going like 100 miles an hour here. And sign up there for our newsletters and discounts, and we'll send the show right to your email every day. That way you don't miss a show. And once again, a huge shout-out to those on K98Talk.com, listening at 11 p.m. Eastern. Uh, lots of cool shows there, including our show. We're glad to be there. So hello to all you listening on k 98 
And uh, starting Monday, starting Monday, we're going to be live on Red Nation Rising Radio at 2 p.m. Eastern, same time as we are now. So you can listen here on crntalk.com or uh, rednationrising.us. Uh, live show. We'll take call in starting Monday. And as always, if you get a chance, head over to iTunes, TuneIn, Spreaker, Podbean, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, and you can subscribe to the Rhino Report. You can like the Rhino Report. You can poke us. You can follow us. You can do whatever you want to do to this show in the privacy of your own home. It's okay. It's okay. We have a lot to get to today. We'll kick it all off with something the Pentagon just said was now, well, okay. We'll talk about that. Hang in there, guys. You're listening to the Rhino Report on CRN Digital Talk Radio. If you missed the health care deadline and don't have any form of health care, Liberty HealthShare has the answer. Liberty HealthShare offers an affordable health care option that allows Americans to enroll any time of the year. For those of you who have already enrolled but just aren't satisfied with what you've chosen, there's still hope. Liberty HealthShare allows Americans to control, manage, and direct their health care yet still be in good standing with the Affordable Care Act. Members are exempt from the tax penalty and mandates imposed on individuals for not having health care insurance, thus giving you freedom from insurance. Liberty HealthShare empowers their members by giving them the ability to choose any doctor or hospital across the nation. Memberships are for individuals, couples, and families, offering a variety of options to best suit an individual's medical needs. If you're a freedom-loving American like myself, looking for contract-free health care, then this is for you. For more information on how to enroll at any time of the year, Call 855-585-4237 or visit LibertyHealthShare.org to request a free estimate. Do it today. All right, guys. Welcome back to the show here. A quick minute break, and now we're off and running. The Pentagon just said that they will now allow openly transgendered people to serve in the military. Big win, right? Big win for the LGBTQ plus W, whatever it's called. Big win for them. Kind of, right? I mean, do you see many female military personnel walking around bases in, like, miniskirts and stuff? Nah, not really. I mean, they, they kind of all wear the same thing, unless it's, like, parade dress or something like that. It's a little different. So I, I guess I don't see the big deal here. Um, but, hey, the LGBT community thinks it's a big win. It's a big win. But um, just... Just be be cautious now if you're in this community. And let's say you're stationed at a base in, I don't know, Fallujah or something like that. And you get some, some R&R and you get to go off base. Um, Now you have the pleasure of getting to wear a burqa. Right? That sounds pretty cool. Get to wear a burqa. It's 158 degrees there. I don't know. I don't know. This is a... This is great, right? Up until they they reinstate the draft. Right? Because now, you know, how many stories did you hear from back in the 70s, early 70s, late 60s, of people that would walk into the recruitment centers uh, when they were drafted, the draft centers, and they would start kissing another guy, or they would walk in with, you know, heels and a skirt just to dodge the draft? Well, now you can't do that. Now the draft just picked up a 0.3% more of the population. It's pretty good. Now if you walk into the draft center... And you're wearing, you know, thigh-high fishnets and a and a crop top. They're not going to kick you out. They're not going to kick you out. They're going to strap an M16 to your back and say, "Go get him, cupcake." That's what's going to happen. So it's a big win, you know, on paper. We already saw yesterday that you know women don't really want to be drafted either. Forty-one percent of women think that they shouldn't have to sign up for selective service. Now. I said that we could avoid the draft altogether if we take care of our military better, we pay them more, we actually take care of their health after they've served with the VA, then you'll have a nice robust military and you won't have to have a draft. Well, you know, the way things are going, the way things are going, you know, Russia's getting a little antsy, Iran's getting antsy, you have North Korea's firing off test missiles every, you know, three minutes, might need the draft. So, hey, welcome. I'll be there. I'll be there. I'm sure I'll get drafted. So I'm, I can't wait to see some of you standing in line right next to me. Let's um, let's talk about Disney, right? Disney has declared war on alligators. No more alligators in the park. No more crocodiles in the park. Even uh, these characters that appear in different movies and stories, no more. And this is all because of uh, th- that boy from Nebraska, the two-year-old that was uh, you know, taken and eaten by an alligator, or not eaten, but killed by an alligator 
on June 14th at the Seven Seas Lagoon at the Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. That's a nice resort, by the way. Very, very nice. Very nice. Very uh, southern plantation style. I mean, it looks great. But, um, yeah, they've, um, so Lewis, the trumpet-playing gator from The Princess and the Frog, no longer part of the Friendship Fair Castle Show. So Lewis is retired. The TikTok croc, who uh, chases a bad guy Captain Hook in Peter Pan, uh, he's been yanked from the Festival of Fantasy Parade in the Magic Kingdom, so no more TikTok croc. The Jungle Cruise boat ride no longer includes a corny one-liner from the captain telling parents to watch your children or the crocodiles will. <laughs> oh, man. You know, this was an unfortunate thing. It, it absolutely was. It never should have happened. Uh, but, you know, to, to now kind of sanitize everything and say no more alligators, no more crocodiles. If you choose to live in Florida or if you choose to put a resort or a theme park in Florida, guess what's going to be there? <laughs> crocodiles. Not cro Alligators. <laughs> alligators. What am I talking about? Alligators are going to be all over the place. There's like a million alligators in Florida. That's a lot. That's a lot. But, nope. Disney's getting rid of them, and I think uh, if you've ever been on the Pirates of the Caribbean ride in Disney, well, Disney World in Florida anyway, there's a spot at the end where you kind of have Captain Hook, and he's he's about to get eaten by the crocodile, and his feet are on the crocodile's jaw, kind of spreading them apart, trying not to get eaten. Um, I think they removed that as well. So, uh, listen, if you're going to be near alligator-infested waters, maybe you shouldn't have your two-year-old there also. But I guess Disney should have had signs. But here's the result. Here's the result. This is what happens. One thing happens. It's like the one guy doesn't want to say God in the Pledge of Allegiance in California. And all of a sudden, boom, God's gone. God's gone. One person it offends. Uh, welcome to Obama's America. Um, Let's talk about this Navy investigation for a couple minutes here. So if you remember back in January, these ten sailors, they were, uh, yeah, they were, captured, essentially, by the Iranian uh, military there. The Navy releases a report. And in the report, they're saying, there's a lot of things that went wrong. Uh, these uh, these two boats, two 50-foot boats that were en route from uh, Kuwait to Bahrain, uh, they were delayed, they were unprepared, poorly supervised, and ill-suited for the mission. That's what the Naval report says here. And this is according to... Uh, Admiral John Richardson, who presented the investigation um, at a Pentagon news conference. They even said that one guy was, like, up all night doing repairs, and um, this trip ignored established crew rest directives and sound navigational practices. There was no one keeping an eye on them. You know, but Iran violated quite a few things here, too, that are possibly worse. Innocent passage. They boarded a boat of a sovereign country. Whether or not they were in Iranian or Saudi waters really shouldn't be the issue. This was innocent passage. Well, it sounds like six officers and three enlisted sailors either have been disciplined or will be disciplined in the, uh, in the near future. So, we'll punish sailors who are just doing what they're told. They're doing their job. They're away from their families. For some reason, they had to take a 300-mile boat ride. But we'll give Iran $159 billion, who, by the way, now want out of the nuclear deal, but they'll keep the money. They'll keep the money. The mullahs all have it. It's already being spent. And then we give them a billion dollars, and a couple hours later, these sailors get released. Like, that wasn't, you know... They weren't holding them for, you know, maybe a ransom, were they? I don't believe Iran would ever do something like that. <laughs> so we blame our own crew, we blame our own country, we blame ourselves. Sorry, Iran. Totally our fault. Totally our fault. You have every right to board a U.S. vessel. You have every right to capture our sailors. They didn't get enough sleep. They didn't get enough sleep. You can mock them in parades. No big deal. This is the doormat policy, remember? This is the doormat policy we now have in this country. The apology tour is not over. We thought it ended. Now, remember John Kerry when he said how great they treated our sailors and how nice they were? 
Tar Sailors. I don't know. Someone's treating me nicely. They're not holding me in a surrender pose with a with a machine gun to my head. That's not what I look for from a good party host. That's not something that I would consider to be, uh, you know, good treatment. But, um, yep, our sailors are to blame. Blame the sailors. Not surprised. Listen, guys, only, like, what, seven or eight months left of this? Not too much longer. we got to put up with it. Um, hopefully these sailors don't get disciplined too bad. Um, really not their fault. Not their fault at all. All right, when we come back, I want to talk about these ISIS kill lists. Let's talk about censorship. We have new polls to get to. Hang in there, guys. You're listening to the Rhino Report on CRN Digital Talk Radio. CRN listeners, when you come to Southern California, stop by a great restaurant, the Dresden Restaurant at 1760 North Vermont Avenue in Hollywood. Enjoy great entertainment, like the music of the legendary Marty and Elaine at the world-famous Dresden Restaurant. The Dresden was a location for the making of the movie Swingers. Now you can swing with stars Marty and Elaine. Plus, enjoy great food, too, like French onion soup, artichoke hearts, and many other great appetizers. Seafood? There's salmon, shrimp scampi, New Zealand orange roughy, halibut, Lake Superior whitefish, and specialties like veal marsala, piccata, and parmigiana. Plus, we've got a great roast rack of lamb, chicken piccata, and cordon bleu, and pasta dishes, too. Steaks? Filet. New York. Chateaubriand for two. Much more, too, including pork chops, prime rib of beef, and an incredibly extra large cut of prime rib. It's the Dresden Restaurant, open for lunch Monday through Saturday and dinner Monday through Sunday. Check us out at 1760 North Vermont Avenue or call 323-665-4294. Trying to sell your old car? Instead, donate your vehicle to Heritage for the Blind. Pickup is free and your donation is tax deductible. Just call one 1- 800-785-9618. Heritage for the Blind accepts cars, vans, trucks, and boats, whether they run or not. Call right now and receive a free three-day vacation voucher to over 50 locations. Call 1-800-785-9618. Donate your car today. That's 1-800-785-9618. The smartest way for you to get the lowest prices on your plane tickets, domestic or international, is to call Smart Fares first or last but you've got to call us before you book your plane tickets. Fly anywhere in the world, fly anywhere in the U.S., and Smart Fares can save you up to 75% on your plane tickets. We have the lowest airline ticket prices on over 500 airlines, and you've got a great 12-hour free cancellation window. Plus, with our live agent help, you can always get fast help and fast answers. So on your next trip, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, how about right now? Pick up your phone and call smart fares plus save up to 75 percent in your plane reservation so call right now 800-915-2644-800-915-2644-800-915-2644-800-915-2644 attention crn listeners in arizona now all of your mortgage needs can be handled by advanced capital mortgage Looking for a reverse mortgage, refinance, new purchase, or just to streamline your FHA and HARP? Our rates are great with dozens of lending solutions. Call Advanced Capital Mortgage, 855-437-8421. That's 855-437-8421. 855-437-8421. MBO 91903, MLS 716936. Alright guys, welcome back to the Rhino Report on this Thursday, Thursday afternoon, hot, humid, just sun-drenched here in New York. I know, um, oh, I guess I gave it away, the 11th state is New York. Um, <laughs> you know, I look out at the grass, it's like all brown. I know people out there in California, you guys haven't had a rain in like six years, I get that. But uh, I've, I dump just tons and tons of water on my grass and it's still brown. Um, I guess I, that's what happens. Um... So, if you were on an ISIS kill list, do you think you'd know about it? Well, odds are no. Not unless a reporter contacted you, for that matter. Um, there's a list of 12,000 Canadians that now ISIS has ordered their foot soldiers or whatever to go after and kill them, or they say slay them. That's what they say. Um, you know how many of these 12,000 people were notified by Canadian authorities? 151. 151 out of 12,000. And they say, Canada says that uh, 
uh, w when this kind of threat to Canadians is put into the public domain, all of the security and police and intelligence agencies of the government of Canada respond in a robust way to keep the country safe. Yeah? <laughs> I mean, you probably would be able to spot one of these Islamic State characters in the middle of Saskatoon. They'd probably stick out. They'd probably stick out. But a robust way is 151 people out of 12,000? That's not robust at all. Now, Senator Charles Grassley of Iowa, um, he's, he's taking it to the FBI right now because there are lists in this country, too. Many lists in this country, in fact. People uh, from New York, Texas, Florida, California are all on ISIS kill lists. And there was a reporter from Circa News, who some of you may have seen on TV, she's kind of been making the rounds, who said that she found one of these lists and was calling people to see if they were ever notified by local authorities or the FBI or, you know, some law enforcement agency. And just a couple of dozen had said, yeah, we were notified. Just a couple dozen. Um, she found no, no real common thread through those who, who got a call or didn't get a call. Um, it, it's very much random. Very, very much random. Um, even even a former FBI director says, oh, you know, they could just, you know, download a phone book and put that out there, and, you know, there doesn't have to be some connection. Well, yeah, that's what our government doesn't understand here. Now, I'm going to go back about a week. We had all these gay pride events here in New York City and across the nation, of course, uh, this last weekend, and I'm happy that they get to celebrate. I am. Um... But our mayor here said, Mayor Bill de Blasio, again, not my mayor, but close enough uh, to be a nuisance. He said, go out, celebrate. We have no credible threats against these parades. Well, did we have any credible threat against the Pulse nightclub in Orlando? Were there any credible threats about a conference room in San Bernardino, California? Maybe against the Bataclan? in Paris, France? No, see, that's the thing, is they strike without warning. So to say there's no credible threats, it's bull. That's what it is. This is what they do. And now, when the FBI and law enforcement look at this list, they say, ah, it's a random list, and, you know, no one here is really in the military or law enforcement or maybe a conservative talk show host. No one's like that. So this, we can dismiss it. No, that's the whole thing. It's all about soft targets. I'm willing to bet that this list isn't as random as they think. They have a lot of information. Now, on these lists, you have names, phone numbers, addresses. How much do you want to bet a lot of these people aren't part of the NRA? Do not have licenses for handguns. Do not have registered weapons. Is anyone looking into that? Is that a possibility? Because ISIS goes after soft targets. That's where they make their living. That's their home. Nightclubs, office buildings. This is what it is. So maybe it's not so random after all. But our government just refuses, refuses. Now, I, I can't help but think, is the lack of notifying people a political issue? Now, we saw with Benghazi, right, with this report from the House Select Committee that the safety of the American people and those four in Benghazi was very, very low on the list. It was all about political spin 40 days before an election. Is this kind of the same thing? Because if they have to warn 12,000, 10,000, 20,000 people that they're being targeted by ISIS, do you think that would sway their vote? Well, we see Donald Trump, poll after poll after poll, is the person people choose to defend them against the Islamic State, not Hillary Clinton. Is, is this political? You hate to think it is because lives are at stake. But you have to start connecting the dots. You have to start connecting them. People don't connect them because mainstream media is not connecting them for you. That's why I'm here. I connect the dots. And if I'm on a list, <laughs> come get some. I'm waiting. The locks on my door are for your safety, not mine. We'll be back. This is Larry Minetti for Herpanison, the acne medication that really works from the inside out.
If you suffer from skin problems, Herpanison is the most unique and effective formula on the market. It cleans your skin from the inside out and gets rid of all kinds of acne and blemishes on your back, neck, and your face. It works so well, you can look and feel like a movie star. Herpanison, a natural supplement created by Dr. Wayne Diamond. You take a pill, and that's it. I've been on these supplements, and they really work, folks. Don't be afraid to look in the mirror ever again. Get Herpanison today. Day. Call 888-467-4200. That's 888-467-4200. For Panison, it really works. 888-467-4200. Tell them Larry Manetti told you to call and look and feel like a million bucks with her Panison. Call 888-467-4200. Let me take just a moment or two, if I may, and talk about a great place to eat. That's right. For you folks anywhere in the eastern San Fernando Valley, drop in to Bob's Big Boys. That's right. In Sun Valley at 8274 Sunland Boulevard. Now, everybody remembers the name Bob's. They're getting bigger and bigger every day. And little old Bob carrying the hamburger in his checkered overalls is the same Bob that you remember from back through the years. And, of course, if you want to go in for a great lunch, remember their classic burger, the original double-deck hamburger combination. Delicious 100% pure ground beef in two patties with American cheese, lettuce, and our famous big boy special sauce. The name is Bob, and I think when you go in, you'll say, by golly, I'm sure glad that I found this restaurant because it's good for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. They've got all kinds of things, and all you have to do is remember. Bob's Big Boy in Sun Valley at 8274 Sunland Boulevard. It's a great place to eat. The smartest way for you to get the lowest prices on your plane tickets, domestic or international, is to call SmartFares first or last, but you've got to call us before you book your plane tickets. Fly anywhere in the world, fly anywhere in the U.S., and SmartFares can save you up to 75% on your plane tickets. We have the lowest airline ticket prices on over 500 airlines, and you've got a great 12-hour free cancellation window. Plus, with our live agent help you can always get fast help and fast answers so on your next trip maybe today maybe tomorrow how about right now pick up your phone and call smart fares plus save up to 75 percent in your plane reservation so call right now 800-915-2644 800-915-2644 800-915-2644 800-915-2644 money is a big part of our life you know that each of us spends saves and invests money but money is changing Global currency changes are shifting trade like never before, transforming the dollar and impacting every asset we own. The U.S. dollar is now at risk. Swiss America's new 2016 World Money Report outlines what this means for your money and your retirement accounts. And the report is absolutely free. Thanks, Pat. Call toll-free 888-732-7221. That's 888-732-7221. 7221. Money is now made and lost faster than at any other time in history. Winning and losing often depends on what you know and when you know it. Call now, 888-732-7221. That's 888-732-7221. Free 2016 World Money Report today. All right, guys, welcome back to the show. We're about 26 to the top of the hour. We're talking about these kill lists and that no one's really being notified, especially those in the Great White North. 151 out of 12,000. I mean, again, uh, depending on where in uh, Canada you are, some of these people are going to stick out like a sore thumb. I'm very familiar with Canada. I've been there many, many times. Beautiful country, beautiful country. Um, But yeah, 151 out of 12,000, not a good ratio. And... um, Now, Grassley here says, reportedly the FBI even neglected to notify the relevant local police departments of these specific threats, which urged followers of the terrorist group to assassinate American citizens. These alleged failures are alarming, given the FBI's stated commitment to, quote, work closely with federal, state, and local partners to keep the public informed of potential threats. Now, the FBI has not responded to this, because why would they? Um... 
They said, uh, just in a little short statement, it routinely notifies individuals and organizations of potential threat information. Um, interesting choice of words. Routinely, not always. What would have to make it routine? Now, I know we're, we're splitting hairs with, with wording here, but you have to with this administration. Everything is in the wording with these people. Well, we didn't say always. We said routinely. Well, people break their routines sometimes, right? I don't know. Uh, this isn't good. You need to be notified. You need to at least be aware. Maybe you can go out and get a security system. Maybe you can go out and purchase a firearm. Maybe the government doesn't want you to do that. <laughs> Anyone ever think of that before? You notify people that go out to buy an AR-15? Oh, can't have that. Can't have that. Can't notify them. They won't vote for Hillary. They're going to go out and buy a gun. Oh, my God. The horror. The horror. Uh, you still got to notify people. This is, uh, you know, hopefully not for the political gain I just outlined. But, you know, it just it starts to make sense after a while. It starts to make sense. All right, let's move on. Let's, um, you know what? What's going on? What's going on with this FBI report? I'm, I'm kind of skipping things. I want to do something else. We're going to talk about FBI reports now since we're on, on the subject. This is my good segue. What's, what is going on with this report with Hillary Clinton? We heard back in January it was going to be February or March. We heard in March it was going to be May. Now we haven't heard bubkis. Nothing. Where is it? 150 FBI agents working on this. It's got to be close, right? Did it disappear? I don't know. And why was the Attorney General, Loretta Lynch, meeting with Bill Clinton on a private plane yesterday at Phoenix Sky Harbor Airport? What would she have to talk to Bill Clinton about? Huh? This was no chance meeting. Don't. That's how it's coming off. Oh, we just happened to be at the same, you know, airport? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> this was all planned. Come on. Was she warning him that maybe... Because, you know, the White House and uh, those higher, those who are better than us, or they think so anyway, they get this information long before it gets disseminated. They figure out their spin. They set up their war room, right? Right? Their their spin room before they give it to us. And we saw this with the with the jobs numbers at the beginning of June. Thirty six thousand jobs added to the economy. What is that? And just the day before, the president's out there in Ohio, I believe it was, saying how robust the economy is because they had the numbers a week before. They had to get out in front of it. Now this could be an innocent meeting. It could be. Or, it could not be. Could be a warning. Could be collusion. Could be all sorts of things. It's like you have to be a conspiracy theorist now. You have to be. You have to think about every angle. Because they think about every angle. That's what they think about. Now, Loretta Lynch is saying that the conversation had nothing to do with the FBI investigation. What was she going to say? Oh, yeah, we spoke at length about it? No, she can't. So, of course, she's going to say it had nothing to do with it. She said it had to do, get this, with grandchildren, social activities, and travel plans. Where have we heard this before, right? Is that, the, is that like the line? Yeah, yoga, weddings, yeah, nothing important. 30,000 emails about yoga. Y yoga. I couldn't write 30,000 emails about anything, especially yoga. Uh, Hillary Clinton is not doing yoga. I've seen yoga instructors and some yoga people <laughs> way uh, totally not doing it. Yeah, talking about grandchildren, travel plans. I don't know, guys. I feel like maybe we're going to hear about this report fairly soon. Fairly soon. I'm sure the Clintons want it released uh, as probably as soon as possible to try to get out in front of it and really just push this thing along. Because what happens if this report comes out and they recommend an indictment after November? People are going to want to recall. Uh, I mean, and, and that would probably happen. So they want this thing out soon. That's what I would think. But I just think it's interesting that we haven't heard anything about it. Nothing. You know, in, in March you had all of these experts parading on all the different, all the different national news sources, whether it be Fox or CNN or MSNBC or whatever it is, saying, oh. It's close. They've investigated the aides. 
They have immunity for Pagliano. Uh, Hillary won't talk to them. Whatever it is, everybody had an expert opinion about how this report was coming out within four to six weeks. Now, here we are sweating our butts off at the end of June, only a couple of weeks away from the conventions, and we've heard nothing. We've heard nothing. So something tells me it's starting to churn a little bit. And it may be starting to churn now because some of these poll numbers are starting to, well, change. I said last week, June 23rd of 2016 will be the day we look back at and say that's when the political winds in this country shifted. That was a bad day for Obama. Really bad. It was a bad day for the progressive agenda. A bad day for the liberal agenda. Really bad. And now we're starting to see it in the polling a little bit. And it's slow. You know, it takes a little while. People don't always have that immediate reaction anymore. Now, I, I called it wrong. I said after the attack in Orlando, you're going to see Trump's poll numbers spike. And they didn't. They actually went down a little bit. And that was partly because people believed that Hillary Clinton had the better answers to that attack than Donald Trump did. That did. And you know what? He, he didn't have a good answer. His answer was, well, bullets should have been flying in the other direction. And that's not the answer you give there. The answer you give there is, we're going to hunt these bastards down, and we're going to bury them all six feet under. That's the answer you give there. He didn't give that. Now, Donald Trump has a knack for sticking his foot in his mouth. That I will give you. But he could have used that opportunity. But now, things that happened on the 23rd, he had nothing to do with, and it's helping him. Maybe he just needs to shut up. Maybe that's what he has to do. I want to go into the polls when we come back. Hang in there, guys. Quick break. If you missed the health care deadline and don't have any form of health care, Liberty HealthShare has the answer. Liberty HealthShare offers an affordable health care option that allows Americans to enroll any time of the year. For those of you who have already enrolled but just aren't satisfied with what you've chosen, there's still hope. Liberty HealthShare allows Americans to control, manage, and direct their health care, yet still be in good standing with the Affordable Care Act. Members are exempt from the tax penalty and mandates imposed on individuals for not having health care insurance, thus giving you freedom from insurance. Liberty HealthShare empowers their members by giving them the ability to choose any doctor or hospital across the nation. Memberships are for individuals, couples, and families, offering a variety of options to best suit an individual's medical needs. If you're a freedom-loving American like myself, looking for contract-free health care, then this is for you. For more information on how to enroll at any time of the year, call 855-585-4237 or visit libertyhealthshare.org to request a free estimate do it today. The smartest way for you to get the lowest prices on your plane tickets, domestic or international, is to call SmartFares first or last, but you've got to call us before you book your plane tickets. Fly anywhere in the world, fly anywhere in the U.S., and SmartFares can save you up to 75% on your plane tickets. We have the lowest airline ticket prices on over 500 airlines, and you've got a great 12-hour free cancellation window. Plus, Plus, with our live agent help, you can always get fast help and fast answers. So on your next trip, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, how about right now? Pick up your phone and call SmartFares. Plus, save up to 75% on your plane reservation. So call right now. 800-915-2644. 800-915-2644. 800-915-2644. 800-915-2644. 800-915-2644. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the show. We're going to talk polls now. Polls. Thursday is the big poll day, and I think it will be from here on out. It's when we start to see most of the major polls come out. That way people have a day to dissect it, and it's a lot of fodder for the weekend. This is done on purpose. Uh, it's not Monday because a lot of news breaks on Monday. Uh, Thursday can be a slow news day. It gives people something to talk about on Friday. So a lot of them come out on Thursday. Now, Fox News had one last night. It gives Hillary a six-point lead. Um, if you're not t sick of hearing about that one, let's talk about three other ones that came out today. You have the Reuters Ipsos, you have the PPP, and you have Rasmussen. Reuters Ipsos is, um, well, we'll talk about it. This has Hillary at 42, Trump at 31. Uh, this was taken from 625 to 629, so pretty recent. 1,247 people who claim to be registered voters. 
Uh, all adults, uh, only 20% think we're on the right track of Democrats. 37% think we're on the right track. 48 think we're not. Uh, of Republicans, only 6% think we're on the right track. 89% think we're not. And uh, independents, only 14% think we're on the right track, while 76% say we're headed down the wrong road. Number one problem facing America right now, overall, terrorism, number one, told you it would be there. Number two, the economy in general. And uh, number three, health care. Health care has slipped in, and that's because the talk of the, the rise in the Obamacare rates is starting to pick up 40% come November, just FYI. Uh, Democrats believe terrorism is uh, number two, actually. They think the economy is number one, and they go to health care for number three. Republicans are way different, think terrorism is number one. Uh, they believe that the economy is number two, and number three is immigration. Immigration. Uh, so this poll, if you do the math, I'm not going to read you all the numbers because it, it gets boring, this poll, after a while. They surveyed about 220 more Democrats than they did Republicans, people who claim to be one or the other. Um, and, you know, it's tough because when you claim to be one, you could always, you know, finagle a poll. and You could say, oh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm a Republican. I'm voting for Hillary. Um, so these polls always, always, grain of salt, grain of salt. Um, do you approve of uh, the way Barack Obama is handling his job as president? Independence, this is the uh, this is the one that people are going to look at. 38% say uh, strongly disapprove, strongly disapprove. Republicans, 70% strongly disapprove. And Democrats, they think he's doing a great job. Great job. 50% strongly approve. Well, that's uh, <clears throat> not... Terribly, uh, you know, I, I can see that coming a mile away. Uh, general head-to-head, -head, we gave you that number already. Uh, this has a, a Clinton gets 75% of Democrat support, while Donald Trump gets 70% of Republican support. They both have 7% crossover. That's an even number. No other poll has that, so one off there probably. Uh, let's see. So this is yeah, that's the PPP poll. Oh, that's the Reuter Ipsos. I'm sorry, Reuter Ipsos. They were they had a spread of like 10 points last week too. Um, let's talk about PPP really quickly before we move on um, to the Rasmussen one, which is really the most credible one we have. Hillary 48, Trump at 44. All right, uh, this was released today. Clinton leads 51-36 with women, 82-13 with Hispanics, 91-5 with African Americans, and 57-28 with young voters. Trump leads 48-37 with men, so he's got 11 points there. That's pretty good. 51-32 uh, with whites. That margin is widening. And 51-36 with seniors. Those are the ones who go out and vote. Remember that. Um, Clinton in this poll has an advantage with independents, 39-35. Again, that's the first time we've seen Clinton actually have an edge with independents in any poll since both have become the presumptive nominee of their respective parties. Um, uh, Bernie Sanders, people uh, people still like him. <clears throat> they still like him in this poll. Um, and they're saying that uh, Hillary does not have the support of even half of the Bernie Sanders voters at this point. Uh, Obama approval in this PPP poll, 48 approve, 47 disapprove. Generally speaking, uh, would you vote Republican or Democrat if the election was today? Uh, Democrat, 45. Republican, 44. 39% favorable of Hillary, 54% unfavorable, 35% favorable for Trump, 58% unfavorable. They keep hanging around the same areas there on both sides. Uh, let's see, if you put in Gary Johnson, he gets 5%. Uh, Stein gets 2%, 7% remain undecided. However, however, um, if, you, if the choice was Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump, or a giant meteor hitting the earth... Uh, Hillary gets 43 still, Donald Trump gets 38, and the giant meteor gets 13. So he gets he gets uh, 8 more percent than Gary Johnson would get. So people would rather large-scale devastation um, than Gary Johnson or Jill Stein. Uh, favorable of Bernie Sanders, 44% see, seem as favorable, 42% unfavorable. Uh, that is a huge drop for Bernie. Bernie was looking at 70% favorables about about a month ago. So... All right, that is the PPP poll. Now the one everyone's waiting for. Drum roll, please. Rasmussen, Trump 43, Clinton 39. The first uh, lead here uh, outside of the margin of error we have seen for Trump in quite a while. Last week in this Rasmussen poll released on Thursdays, Clinton was 44, Trump was 39. So they've kind of reversed. They flip-flopped here. Trump now gets 75% 
among fellow Republicans and picks up 14% of crossover votes. Well, uh, 76% of Democrats like Clinton, as do uh, 10% of self-hating GOP voters. So, we're seeing Clinton in this poll come down a little bit in her support from Democrats, and uh, Trump's crossovers went way up. They were at like 6% last week, 14% this week. That's big. That's big. Um, uh, A few voters uh, think that the government is giving the right amount of attention to uh, the Islamic terrorism issue here at home. Lots of stuff. We'll finish a couple of numbers here in this poll when we come back, and then we'll talk about censoring. Who's trying to censor mainstream media? And should they be censored? (laughs) Well, some should, probably. Or some should be corrected anyway. Maybe that's a better, better way to say it. Hang in there, guys. I'm losing my voice. You're listening to The Rhino Report on CRN Digital. Talk Radio. Come to Angelo's and Vinci's Ristorante in Fullerton, California for authentic family-style Italian dinners. Come to Angelo's and Vinci's and celebrate your party or event in one of our festive banquet rooms. Angelo's and Vinci's, Fullerton, California, 550 North Harbor Boulevard. Named the Orange County Hot List Top 5 Italian Restaurant for seven years in a row. And a Top 10 Pizza Restaurant by Gayo, featuring traditional and award-winning pizzas. Offering Sunday champagne brunch from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m., just $16.95. Choose from over 20 items plus great your own personal omelet. Delicious lunches, including our express lunch buffet, $8.95 with over 15 items. And dinner seven days a week. Getting married? Angelos and Vinci's won this year's Wedding Wire Couples Choice Award. You can talk to our experienced staff of wedding coordinators. We treat you as guests at your own wedding reception. It's all at Angelos and Vinci's Restaurante at 550 North Harbor Boulevard in Fullerton, California. Call 714-879-4022. 714-879-4022. Hi, I'm Joan London, and if you're worried about your parent or a loved one living alone like I was, and you want reliable senior care information, then call a place for mom the nation's largest senior living referral service with one phone call you'll get free information on assisted living alzheimer's care nursing homes even important financial information it's a free service so call now call now 800-704-6182 800-704-6182 Here's an important announcement for prescription drug users. If you take Synthroid, Lipitor, Crestor, Nexium, or any other expensive prescription medication, we guarantee you're paying too much. A new program is now making these important drugs available at a fraction of the local pharmacy price. For example, 100 milligram Synthroid in your local pharmacy is about a dollar a pill. The exact same medication is about 30 cents a pill. You can save up to 70% on most of the top 200 drugs prescribed by U.S. physicians. Call right now and see if you qualify to get this special offer of a three-month supply of most of the top-selling prescription drugs for less than $100, plus shipping and handling. Call right now toll-free and start saving on medication for you and your family. Call now, 800-362-9337, 800-362-9337. That's 800-362-9337. Hi, this is Fred Dreyer. Join me and Michael Horn on the PM Show Wednesdays at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern here on CRN Digital Talk. We talk about things in the sports world nobody else does. So listen in to me and Mike at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern, right here on CRN Digital Talk. And go to crntalk.com for more information on other show times. And don't forget to take us with you by downloading the CRN app on the App Store. So you've missed the health care deadline and don't have any form of health care? Liberty HealthShare has the answer. Liberty HealthShare offers an affordable health care option that allows Americans to enroll any time of the year. For those of you who have already enrolled but just aren't satisfied with what you've chosen, there's still hope. Liberty HealthShare allows Americans to control, manage, and direct their health care, yet still be in good standing with the Affordable Care Act. Members are exempt from the tax penalty and mandates imposed on individuals for not having health care insurance, thus giving you freedom from insurance. Liberty HealthShare empowers their members by giving them the ability to choose any doctor or hospital across the nation. Memberships are for individuals, couples, and families, offering a variety of options to best suit an individual's medical needs. If you're a freedom-loving American like myself, looking for contract-free health care, then this is for you. For more information on how to enroll at any time of the year, call 855-585-4237 or visit libertyhealthshare.org to request a free estimate. Do it today. 
This is Jeff Carlisi from the Band 38 Special. Let us never forget that police lives matter. You're listening to the Rhino Report, always right on the RWB Network. The Republicans want to repeal it. You know, they actually, with a straight face, say that the Great Recession was was caused by too much regulation on Wall Street. They actually say that. You know, I remember when, you know, I've I've supported my husband through all of his races in Arkansas. And I, I, one of my favorite, favorite political ads of all time was a radio ad, rural Arkansas, where the announcer said, wouldn't it be great if somebody running for office said something, we could have an immediate reaction as to whether it was true or not? Well, we've trained this dog. And the dog, if it's not true, he's going to bark. And then the dog was barking on the, on the radio. And so, you know, people were, like, barking at each other for days after that. I- I'm trying to figure out how we can do that with the Republicans. You know, we need, we need to get that dog and follow, follow him around. And every time they say these things, like, oh, you know, the Great Recession was caused by too much regulation. Oh, 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 you know. I, I think we could, we could cut right through a lot of their, uh, you know, their claims. All right, guys, welcome back to today's Thursday show. Thursday show, let's put a bow on some of these polls. Now, we blew through them pretty quickly. I wanted to spend more time on them, but the, uh, the ISIS kill list thing and, and, uh, and a transgender in the military, these things just took precedent right now. Uh, so we had, to, we had to triage the material, so we blew through polls, and let's finish it up. Um, again, this is the Rasmussen poll we were talking about before the break. A thousand likely voters conducted between June 28th and June 29th. Margin of error, three percent, with a 95 percent level of confidence. That's almost laughable in most of these polls. Um, Trump holds a 14-point lead among men, while Clinton leads women by only six. That number is down, and uh, Trump's lead among men is up. Um, candidates under 40. Uh, well, they're about tied. They're about tied, which is interesting because no other poll is showing that. And uh, Trump leads among older voters, which is showing in every single poll. Among voters not affiliated with either major party, Trump leads by 18 points. 18, that is a new high for him in this poll. Typically, he was around 11. So 18. Uh, this has been a good week for Trump. This is the first poll showing that reversal. Rasmussen has been ahead of the curve in some instances. They were behind in others. Um, but they did predict a little surge for Cruz back in the primaries. They actually predicted the surge for Fiorina uh, back in whatever it was last August. So, um, listen, uh, this Rasmussen is one of the more credible ones. Now, I would say Rasmussen, Quinnipiac's not too bad. Um, eh, there's a few of them. Eh, Fox News is okay. Um, sometimes the 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 NBC Wall Street Journal poll isn't too bad. Uh, the Economist YouGov, eh, not great. So we're starting to see some of the more credible polls come around to show this shift. Even Quinnipiac yesterday was showing um, s- some real movement for Trump in a lot of good directions. Um, and really, the platforms that Hillary Clinton is campaigning on, nobody cares about. They were getting like 1% or 2% of people caring about that uh, that platform. So, uh, yeah, listen, if Trump can stick to the terrorism thing, that he's the guy to defend us, he wins this thing hands down. Hands down. Because you know he's the job creator. He leads in that. Uh, that's not even close in any polling. He's always up 15 20% in that area in every poll. Who's the better job creator? And if he can win, get this terrorism message out, um, this thing could be a landslide. It really could be. I, I know people are laughing about that right now. But um, listen, the poll numbers... They show it, and as skewed as they are, they're still showing it. Now, the FEC, right, uh, they uh, they wanted to punish Fox News, and they wanted to punish Fox News because Fox News had a kitty table <laughs> debate last August. That was August 6th, right? That was the first debate we saw with, what was it, like 115 people on stage, uh, all vying for the GOP nomination. Well, uh, someone filed a complaint and said it's not fair because it is an equal time 
Nah, not equal time. Well, they gave you a stage. They didn't really have to give you anything. They could have just said, listen, the cutoff is 4%. If you're there, you're there. If you're not, you're not. Um, they gave you a stage, which is interesting because um, the, the FEC voted to actually, uh, well, penalize Fox News. Penalize. Uh, three Democrats on the board, Ellen Weintraub, Ann Ravel, and Steve Walther, all determined the network had made an illegal contribution to the seven candidates who were invited to the first debate. <laughs> illegal contribution. Uh, this has happened before. It happened in 2002. Uh, it happened in 1980, where uh, actually what happened there was uh, Ronald Reagan paid for the debate himself. He paid for the debate and then that's when he famously said, I'm paying for this microphone, if you remember that. Um, I was uh, just a wee lad at that point, so I don't really remember it. But I remember seeing it in uh, clips and coverage and everything else. Um, they will not They will not find Fox. They missed a four vote. They need four out of the, uh, of the six to vote for a fine. It was tied 3-3. But still, this brings up the case of censorship and what the mainstream media is allowed to do when talking about or providing a platform for candidates. All right, guys, that's it for today. As always, a huge thank you to those serving our country at home and abroad, and a big thank you to those in the law enforcement community. Thank you for all you do. Thank you for all your hard work. We all depend on you. God bless all of you. God bless all of your families. And until tomorrow, I'm the Rhino, and I'm out.